Hi YouTube, Tanera here, and instead of your regularly scheduled NaNoWriMo content, I'm bringing to you a book tag, because today I want to have some Nana NaNoWriMo relaxation. Also, I apparently can't speak, so there's that. We're going to do the auto-reading tag, and it's by Amy Jane Smith. I'll leave the link to her channel in the description, and I'll also copy-paste the questions over so you can do them if you want to. I thought I would do this tag before it was freaking autumn, because I've been thinking about doing this since, like, forever. Question one. Are there any books you're planning on reading over the autumn season? Well, actually, there are. There are two. Uh... I seriously cannot wait to read Six of Crows, followed by Cricket Kingdom, by Lee Bardugo. All I really know is that it's about a team of thieves or something. I have tried to keep away from videos about it. I just know that it looked really cool. And my aesthetically speaking, like, these books are absolutely gorgeous. Play, like, how dare you look so pretty? How dare you? With the red, oh sweet, Mary Joseph. And then the black, are you, oh, come on, oh. My Doctor Who, one of my Doctor Who bookmarks. Anyway, so yeah, these are two books that I want to read. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to read them this month, because NaNoWriMo, but I definitely, definitely want to get into them. Like, I keep looking at them with uh, reading lust. September brings back to school, brings back to school memories. What book did you most enjoy studying, and what were your favorite and least favorite school subjects? The one that I choose, it's not really a book per se, but I love learning about the Canterbury Tales because it was fascinating to me that this was, this old English was so descriptive and so dirty. Like, those tales are, they're body. They're dirty. And if you didn't know, if you just read it, you wouldn't know. But once you started to, like, piece through it and figure out, like, what the, this early beginning of our language said, it was like, I don't know, it was interesting to me. It was like reading code. Mm. Most favorite subject, anything about English. Least favorite, accounting. I hate accounting. Like, October means Halloween. Do you enjoy scary books and films? If so, what are some of your favorites? I do like scary books and films. Though I don't watch horror as much as I used to when I was younger. Nowadays, I startle too easily. I, I am literally the person that if the door slams, I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> Some of my old favorites, uh, Carrie by Stephen King. That was one of the first books I read of his, and it was awesome. I loved that book. And I read, I remember when I initially read that book, I reread the last like six or seven chapters over and over and over again because I just found it so, so good. Um, let's see. And, um, horror films. Hellraiser, I loved. I loved that. And, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I hate Nightmare on Elm Street because the idea of something being able to invade my dreams and manipulate stuff and do things, horrifying. Like, that for, and, like, Freddy Krueger was, like, a funny horror villain, you know, but I just couldn't do it because he just freaked me out too much, Freddy. Stay out of, stay out of my, stay out of my dreams. With November, it's time for Bonfire Night and Firework Displays. What's the most exciting book you've read that really kept you gripped? This isn't a thriller, but Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. The high fantasy, huge tome. It's like 700 pages. Um, my copy's in the bedroom. Y'all know I ain't gonna get it. But it's... Uh, it gripped me the entire book. 
there wasn't a time where I was like, oh, God, let me just, you know, flip through this and get out, out of the way. No. I was in it. I was invested. I haven't gotten the second book yet, but I will. What book is your favorite cozy comfort read? I don't have one book that's a particular favorite for this. However, whenever I'm sick or I, I or like I'm feeling bad and I need to feel comforted, I like to read contemporary romance books that have like an ensemble cast. So you're learning about the different couples and the different people that are living in the town. I love those. And um, I've been recently reading through the Virgin River series by Robin Carr. I just, I love them. Curled up with a good book, what is your favorite hot drink of choice? Hot cocoa or tea? Usually Earl Grey. Any plans you're looking forward to over the next few months? Well, we might go to a cat camp sanctuary on a different island. And if we do, I will film some stuff. If we don't, then I won't. But maybe. Maybe, you know, we did buy our super smooth hoopty. So that might have blown the budget, but I'm hopeful. And that's it. That is it. That's all. That's all. I'm not going to tag anybody, but if you want to do this tag, please do it. Just let me know if you do it or if you've already done it so I can watch it. So I'm going to go finish my coffee and do a little writing. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.